breaking the habit of being yourself, How to Lose Your Mind and Create a New One is the second best-selling book by Dr. Joe Dispenza. His first book, Evolve Your Brain, explained the concept of neuroplasticity and how one can alter the brain itself based on thought and feeling. As his second best-selling book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, also explores the practice of neuroplasticity. However, rather than just an explanation of neuroplasticity, this book goes deeper into the subject of how to actually apply the practice to one's life, as well as how to achieve the benefits of the science. Dr. Joe Dispenza has a very extensive background in the sciences. He earned his Bachelor of Science with an emphasis in neurobiology from Life University in Atlanta, Georgia, and went on for his Doctor of Chiropractic. He then went on with postgraduate education studying neurology, neuroscience, brain function and chemistry, cellular biology, memory formation and aging and longevity. Dr. Dispenza currently runs a chiropractic clinic in Olympia, Washington while also holding conferences and seminars in order to teach his method of carrying out neuroplasticity all over the world. Not only have his first two books been bestsellers, but he was also featured as one of the scientists in the film What the Bleep Do We Know? As well as The People vs. The State of Illusion. Dr. Joe Dispenza's extensive background in neurobiology and science resulted in an intriguing book that went very in-depth into not only the science behind neuroplasticity, but also meditations that would allow one to change their own mind. I found the science behind the practice very fascinating and something that could be expanded on, while other parts of the book dragged on at times. However, the book did was very successful at sparking my interest in the subject of neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is a subject that is becoming more well-known among people as well as a science gaining momentum in research. It is a subject difficult to comprehend because it goes against many preconceived notions of the world. The book emphasizes that anyone of any age can change what their brain looks them, which is unlike previous long-standing belief that only children still possess developing brains. However, neuroplasticity goes even further than one may believe. Not only can the brain change at the level of synapses and neurons, but it also goes to the depth of genes which can be changed and affected by neuroplasticity. The source of this change takes place due to not only our actions, but can also be caused by thought alone. The aim of the book is largely as a self-help aimed book, with the goal of aiding readers to change their lives and ending destructive personalities and habits. This is done through the practice of a series of meditations outlined in the book and changing one's overall perspective on how the brain and body work together. The book is broken into three parts. The first section The Science of You explains the background science of neuroplasticity and how it works. It begins at a large base of quantum physics and focuses on how the brain and body are actually 99.999% energy rather than actual matter and how this energy behaves. It also goes more into depth about neurobiology and neurotransmitters and how each are closely connected to the body, mind, and experiences. The second part of the book, Your Brain and Meditation, begin to explain Dr. Joe Dispenza's method of achieving neuroplasticity. Rather than going into detail about what to do for this meditation, part 2 actually connects the science from the first part of the book to how the mediation will work in one's body in order to carry out neuroplasticity. Part 3 of the book, Stepping Toward Your New Destiny really looks at the focus of the book, applying neuroplasticity to your own life. It takes the reader step by step on how to carry out the change. It also does this on a weekly plan so that within four weeks the reader will know how to meditate and live so that neuroplasticity is possible in their lives. This portion of the book surprised me because of its almost mysticism or religious feel, completely contrasting the science portion. This book makes many connections to neurobiology which I was not pleasantly surprised by. Several different subjects of neurobiology came up in the reading. It beings by explaining neurotransmitters in order for the reader to understand how their thoughts and feelings are connected and then connects this to how synaptic connections are formed in the brain. The book explains the concept that when synapses fire together they wire together, 
creating habits and uneven personalities if fired enough. It then goes into the actual brain physiology and the connection the different parts of the brain perform in relation to one another. Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself was a very interesting read covering neuroplasticity. I found that the book seemed to drag on in several sections, covering a small amount of information in many pages. This resulted in disinterest at several points in the book however, it did so in order for the reader to completely grasp the concepts in the book. By taking the reader step by step, carefully through the process of how to change one's personality such as in part 3 of the book, it becomes a process anyone can apply to their own life even if they previously knew little about the subject. What I appreciated most in the book was part 1 and part 2 of the book. In the first section, The Science of You, Dr. Joe Dispenza goes into detail about how the brain actually creates one's personality. The book does this by extrapolating on how the mind and body work together and how the energy on a thought can manipulate the body into performing a function. I found this to be the most interesting part of the book because it explained the process so well in relation to the science behind it. If anything, I would have appreciated even more of the in-depth science. Part 2 also relayed some of the science behind the practice but bridged the science of the body and how to apply the science and the aims of the mediations. The third portion of the book caught me by surprise because the mediations seemed very faith-based or mysticism-based. However, because the science was explained so clearly in how the meditations connect with the purpose, the meditations had a foundation and purpose that was easily to follow. Overall this book was a very intriguing read that introduced a new subject to me that previously I had thought impossible. Dr. Joe Dispenza's explanation of meditations and the basis of why they work made the book much more interesting to read because I wanted to learn to apply it to my own life. However, what I appreciated the most in the book was the science that explained neuroplasticity. While certain parts of the book could be expanded on and other parts said in briefer statements, in general the book made it easy for any lay person to understand and apply neuroplasticity.